week's edition. How are you doing this week? How's your lifestyle changes going this week? How are you doing in your life? Everything going good? I hope so. Here's this week's mojo. Toil Train Mojo. Things may come to those who wait, but only the things left by those who hustle. It's by one of our greats, Abraham Lincoln. Think about it. Today's topic, being active in your life. Great reasons to be active. Being active is good for you so many in so many ways. It can provide a huge range of fun, make you feel good, improve your health, and a great way to relax. Regular physical activity can, one, help prevent heart disease, stroke, high blood pressure, two, reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, which we see it's huge right now in, in young adults and older, um, and some cancer. Three, help build and maintain healthy bones, muscles, joints, and reducing the risk of injury, especially as we get older. Uh, promote psychological well-being, the brain, and control your weight, okay? How much physical activity do you need? Great question, huh? How much physical activity do you need? In adults, 150 minutes of moderate activity, example, brisk walking every week, muscle and strength training activities three days a week, and that work all major muscle groups. Let's talk about children. Aerobic activity, 60 minutes each day. Muscle strengthening, three days per week. Example, push-ups, pull-ups, uh, lunges, uh, body squats, stuff like that. And three, bone strengthening, three days per week. Uh, example, jumping rope, it could be jumping jacks, it could be run lunges, stuff like that. Uh, middle age and older, most important to your, to your health and physical activity. 75 minutes of aerobic activity weekly, also muscle strengthening two days a week, working all muscle groups. Um, always check with your doctor before you start any exercise programs. This is for all the groups. So before you start anything new, make sure we check with a doctor. And this is just some of the basics I'm going through. Um, I have so much more information I can give you. This is just some easy basics to give you just a quick little outline on what you can do to help with physical activity. If you have any questions, just contact me on Facebook. Um, adding physical activity to your life. There's a lot of ways to get physical activity you need. If you're thinking, how can I meet the guidelines every week, Paul, that you just showed me? Well, let me, say, let me explain something to you. We all have 24 hours in a day. That equals 160 hours in a week. And if you break that down to minutes, that's over 10,000 minutes. Okay? So, to give me the excuse you don't have the time, you, don't have the, you can't break that down into there. Well, just like Nike said, their, their famous saying, just do it. Great saying. Just do it. Fit it into your life to change your lifestyle. Get the time. You, we all have the time. 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day to equal up to all those minutes that you need for the week. So let's, let's go to B. Stick with it. Uh, by picking physical activities you enjoy that match your abilities, it'll help you out. Um, so if you stick with it, if you're not sure what works for you with sticking with it, just contact me once again. I said I'll help you get some programs to help you stick with it. Um, overcoming barriers of physical activity. The first one is time. If, if, if my, the biggest excuse I hear from people is time. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. Well, time is an excuse. Okay? We all have the time. I just broke, through, broke it down for you. Two, inconvenient. Three, lack of self-motivation. Do not, and then four, do not find exercise enjoyable. Okay? Five, boring. Six, lack of confidence. Seven, fear. We all know my, my, my theory on fear. It means false evidence appearing real. Uh, eight, self-management skills. Nine, lack of support. Hey, if you need support, just contact me. I'll give you all the support you need. And ten, do not know what to do. Well, I'm here to help. Okay? So, to overcome these barriers, you have to create a, st a strategy to overcome them. This may help you make physical activity part of your daily life. Okay? So there's some barriers that in there that, that you can just break it down, throw them out the window, and let's get moving forward on your healthy lifestyle change. So, so I hope this helps you. Here's a quick little tip on physical activity. Um, if you have any questions, contact me on Facebook. If you need any help, get a hold of me on Facebook. Or if you have my number, call me. I'll be happy to sit down with you and work through with you some physical activity. So thanks again for uh, letting me share this with you. Have a great day and an even better tomorrow.